Welcome back. The first book that I would like to talk about is called uh, Swimmers by Julie Atsuka. It's a fairly new book. It's been very refreshing for me to read um, an actual novel because I've been very myself in nonfiction lately. This book reminded me why I fell in love with reading in the first place. For those who do not have a lot of time, one of the best things about this novel is its length. <laughs> it's a really short novel, but don't let it deceive you. Even though it's short, it certainly does not lack depth. I have never read any of Julie Atsuka's work before, uh, but I must say that her prose is very unique. It's very lyrical and um, it kind of reminded me of Haruki Murakami to some degree, but it was both inspiring and heartbreaking. The first part of the novel follows a group of swimmers who are obsessed with their hobby, and uh, one of the swimmers, Alice, develops a Pick's disease, which is a type of dementia. Halfway through the book, the tone makes a drastic shift and it almost becomes a completely different novel. In the second part, the narrative focuses on um, the relationship between Alice and her daughter as Alice's disease progresses. So obviously I don't want to give a lot of things away, so I'll just say that uh, this book describes the mother-daughter dynamic with such beautiful and delicate intimacy that just hits very close to home. Um, it's not trying to be overly sentimental, which is fantastic, and um, I don't know, without trying to sound like extra fancy, I would say uh, that this novel is like Eric Satie or Claude Debussy in prose. It's very gentle. <laughs> and it also reminds me of uh, the two wonderful movies uh, that you should definitely check out if you haven't yet. Uh, Still Alice with Julianne Moore and The Father with Anthony Hopkins. Those are my friends who are familiar with um, some things that were happening within my family can probably understand why this novel hit so close to home for me. Uh, so I may be biased, but I think I have every rational reason in the world to praise this novel. Because not only um, it has this beautiful language, but also the details and the setup. So the characters are obsessed with swimming and either one of them could easily be based off my mother. Uh, she would go to the swimming pool like more often than most people go to church and uh, I grew up going to the pool at least uh, three times a week myself and I was a um, competitive swimmer uh, as a kid. Obviously, of course, that was before puberty hit uh, bringing some unexpected changes to my body uh, that uh, kind of messed up my hydrodynamics and made swimming a little bit more challenging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, I understand that kind of mindset very well and um, all the wonderful intricate details that Julia Tsuka uses to describe the kind of day-to-day -day mundane swimming rituals of that group uh, is very peculiar and it's just right on the money. Uh, so it's a book that is just so full of fascinating observations that even if you're in, indifferent to the whole like swimming thing, uh, this book isn't about swimming at all. You would still like it, you would still enjoy uh, every single page and you would appreciate the prose um, and uh, the language and the humane aspect of it. I feel like it really submerges you. Oh my god, what an appropriate word for this. It really submerges you into this world that was, that's described in its chapters. And I feel like there are a lot of coming of age stories, but not so many of those that focus on the type of child parent dynamic when the roles sh sh switch and the child has to act as a caregiver so it's uh, a very sensitive subject um, scary even um, some people know it way too well but uh, Julia Tsuka did an absolutely terrific job um, as not only shedding light on how to navigate an increasingly complicated relationship with someone who is suffering from dementia, but um, she also did it in a very light and loving way. Uh, it gives hope and uh, there is room for humor. 
That's why I said like this novel is very inspiring on so many different levels. And you know, I'm not a big fan of all those self-help and self-improvement books, but I think that it's books like this one, the ones that have stories that really touch our hearts, that are transformative. And this book just takes you on a touching journey into what it means to be a human being, a good person, a loving parent, and uh, a caring child. So, yeah. That kind of sums it up. That's about it. I can't recommend this book enough. So go grab a copy. I left a link in the description to this video below. Uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, stick around for more. Ciao.